Today I will tell you which are the pros and cons of doing manual analysis. Hello everyone, I am Riccardo Osti and on a daily basis I help the world's best brands become more profitable by investing in the consumer experience. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, please do it right now. You will receive an email every time I publish a new video. In this video, I have explained how good are humans at text analysis. Recently, I have been speaking about machine learning and why it's not such a great solution for natural language processing. So, I decided to make this video where I explain which strengths and limitations of us, humans, when we perform the job manually. I have seen many brands still doing this internally, so I believe it makes a lot of sense to share my point of view on this matter. Usually, companies that sell products and services to a large number of individual customers receive a huge amount of feedback, online reviews, customer service data, or open answers to the NPS surveys are common sources of feedback. If properly analyzed, this feedback can deliver the most valuable insights. For this reason, brands start to analyze these texts, and many of them don't use natural language processing or other technologies, but they try to do it manually, using manpower. So what are the pros and the cons of running manual text analysis? Let's start with the good things. Number one, it's easy to start. In fact, starting a human analysis is quite simple. Once we agree on the dictionary and the topics that we want to research, we just need to start reading and write down the annotations. Number two, it's easy to reach good quality. If it's easy to get started, it's also easy to reach good quality. In theory, we could reach high accuracy from the very first record that we read. Why? Because our interpretation capabilities have been trained during our life, day by day. This means that we don't need training datasets. We also know the lexicon and the grammar, therefore we don't need to create our own linguistic rules. Number three, identify anomalies. We are much better than the machines in identifying anomalies, such as irony, for example. Do you want to know the limits? Watch the second part that will be published next Monday. Subscribe to my channel not to miss it.